types of sets. Null set or empty set. A set with no element. This is the symbol of null set. This is the symbol of empty set. Example, let C be the set of counting numbers between 6 and 7. There is no counting number between 6 and 7. So, set C is a null set or empty set. The cardinality of set C is 0. Singleton set is a set with one element. Example, let D be the set of even counting numbers between 2 and 6. The element of set D is 4. The cardinality of set D is 1. Finite set is a set with limited elements. Example, let W be the set of all days in a week. The cardinality of set W is 7. Infinite set is a set with unlimited elements. Example, set N is the set of counting numbers. What are the counting numbers? The elements of set N are 1, 2, 3, and so on. The cardinality of set N is infinite. Equal sets are sets with exactly the same element. Example, let M be the set of letters in the word mate, and T be the set of letters in the word team. Set M and set T have exactly the same element. Set M equals set T. Equivalent sets have the same number of elements. Example, let A contains the elements A, B, C, and N contains the elements 1, 2, 3. Sets A and N have the same number of elements. Set A is equivalent to set N. Joint sets have at least one common element. Example, let O be the set of letters in the word Oliver, and J be the set of letters in the word Jovelin. Are there elements common to both O and J? Yes, O, L, V, and E. Sets O and J are joint sets or overlapping sets. These joint sets have no common element. Example, let set A contains 1, 2, 3, and set B contains A, B, C, D. Sets A and B have no common element. Sets A and B are disjoint sets. Universal set is the set containing all elements and of which all other sets are subsets. Universal set is denoted by capital letter U. Let U be the universal set containing elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Other sets can be formed from the universal set U, such as set X. All elements of X are found in U. And set Y. All elements of Y are found in U. Subset. Set A is a subset of set B if every element in A is also an element in B. In symbol, A is a subset of B. Example, let A be the set of letters in the word each, and B be the set of letters in the word teach. Every element in A is also in B. So A is a subset of B. It can be written this way. Another example. Let set A be the set of counting numbers less than 4. List all the possible subsets of set A. Solution. The elements of set A are 1, 2, and 3. The subsets are the following. The subsets are 
a set with no element. An empty set is a subset of every set. Sets with one element, two elements, three elements. A set is a subset of itself. What is the cardinality of set A? Three. How many subsets does set A have? Eight. How to compute the number of subsets? Here's the formula. Two to the power of n, where n is the number of elements. Example. If set C contains five elements, how many subsets does set C have? Solution. The cardinality of set C is 5. 2 to the power of 5 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 32. Proper subset. Set A is a proper subset of set B if there is at least one element in B not contained in A. In symbol, A is a proper subset of B. Example, let A be the set of letters in the word one, and B be the set of letters in the word honey. A is a proper subset of B. The elements of set A are also found in set B, and set B has more elements than set A. Another example, let A be the set of odd counting numbers between 2 and 8. List all the possible proper subsets of set A. Set A contains the odd numbers 3, 5, and 7. These are the proper subsets. Note, the proper subset has fewer elements than the set, and a set is not a proper subset of itself. The number of proper subsets of set A is 7. How to compute the number of proper subsets? Here's the formula. 2 to the power of n minus 1, where n is the number of elements. Example, if set L is a set of letters in the word love, how many proper subsets? The number of elements is 4. 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 is 16 minus 1, which is equal to 15. Thanks for watching.